Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to prophetic intercession with Amel. Always a privilege to come your way with a prophetic message message from the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you as you listen. And I pray that this prophetic word gets just to the right person who needs to hear this at this point in time. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. One week to one month. One week to one month. Somebody under the sound of my voice, there is something that had to take you one week to get. There is something that God had put at your disposal. God had put in place that you were supposed to accomplish in a week that will open your door to something greater. But it has taken you about a month to do that. And because of that, you have delayed your blessing. You have delayed your promise. It was, you had just a window of one month to hit it big. You had just a window of one month to get it great. The same thing happened to the Israelites that left Egypt. The Bible says the journey from Egypt to Canaan land was meant to be a 40-day journey. But they wasted or they spent 40 years in the desert, in the wilderness, and did not get to their promised land. In time because of stubbornness because uh, they, they spent their time complaining because of unbelief because of regret there was even a time they regretted ever following Moses out of Egypt they preferred the garlic and cucumber of Egypt than to look or yearn for what God has for them in the promised land all of those things was what contributed to their 40 years in the wilderness, they kept going in circles. So many of them died in the wilderness. They never even had to the privilege to experience what God had for them in the promised land. And so when God gave me this prophetic word, I felt burdened in my heart. Because someone, there is a process you had to go through just for one week. But because of stubbornness, procrastination, because of regret and all what not, you have pushed it to one month. And if you have, if you cannot come to the to to to, to that consciousness and decide to align just yourself with, by the pattern of God, it might prolong. So did God lie when He said He was going to do that to you? No, He did not lie. Who made it seem like God lied? It is you, your response, what you were supposed to do to cue to get into what God has for you. Hallelujah. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no more delay in the fulfillment of your prophecy. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall not prolong or procrastinate your time of waiting by complaining, by unbelief, by regret. In the mighty name of Jesus, God by his special mercy is taking you to your promised land. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. God bless you. Have an amazing evening. Bye-bye.